And as you do this regularly, it gets into your system, means you are, have implemented an old conditioning, you have replaced it, you've broken the chain of the reaction, and now awareness has come in. So it starts to go into different areas. Like if you're, let's say, for example, let me use this, you're impatient. You have, I have a friend of mine that is extremely impatient. And when, whenever, I don't, I, don't, I don't like him to drive his car. When I go places with him, I want to drive because he gets super impatient. Or if we go to a restaurant, as soon as we eat, now he has to get up and run. So a lot of times when I go somewhere, ahead of time, I make an agreement. I said, I'm only going to go to this place with you that at the end, you don't get up and want to run. I want to digest my food. I can't just get up and run. Or we take our own vehicles and you can get up and leave if you want, but I need to take some time. I don't want to just sho shove the food in my mouth and run out the door. So you want to just check this out with yourself as well, that this extreme impatience is coming through you and you just stay with it so you use this as your friend is your friend is teaching you how to remain the observer and simply using this unwanted emotion using it as an advantage as a friend to help you and give you an opportunity to stay the observer and to stay the center and to see it, that it's rising and it's falling, but it has no power over you. It can't touch the truth of who you are. It's just another thought. It's just another emotion. And this thought or this emotion is affecting the idea of who you think you are, but not affecting who you really are. It's affecting that. It's affecting the ego. It's affecting a false imaginary sense of who you really are, but not who you are, really. No, I have, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it right now. Okay. So, yeah, so I have a question here. I'm just gonna read it. Uh, my curiosity and question is, how does one reach that place? where we realize what we truly are. What would be that feeling, state or imagine look like? Okay, that's, that's a good question. Thank you for asking this question. I, I can unmute you. If you want to talk to me directly, you're unmuted. Okay. Hi everyone. So, um, so this is really my question. Um, I hope you probably can dive into it a little bit. I I understand what you're you're saying, but um, I'd I'd want to get maybe like just to clear it from the the physical plane then, just to get a temporal understanding of what that what that awareness would feel and look like. Right just to, to know that you are at that place because we i guess we i know that we are playing different roles and we're we're seeing things from different angles uh, based on our experiences so uh my curiosity is just when is it that we know that we are at that place because we have been conditioned over the years to experience right. a whole lot of different things so it's, how do you know that this is true and Right. This is what it is, and this is where I stay. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, I understand. 
the um, any moment that you don't think, there's no thoughts. So you're simply here and there's no stream of thoughts happening in your mind is you are there in that moment. That's what it feels like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, you've, you've experienced it many, many times in your life. You tap into it all the time. Mm -hmm. But your Which mind- It's short while though, right? Huh? I guess it's always probably just for a short while. That part of it that you're referring to up to now, maybe there's moments, moments that like you're there and there's no thoughts and you're completely content. You tap into it all the time. But your mind... Huh. I don't know. What happened? Okay, right. So you, th that's that place you're referring to, okay? It's always here. You're always in it. Mm -hmm. And it's not a place, it's not somewhere else. And it's not a, um, all it just requires is, is simply not thinking, being quiet inside. And then you're, you're one with it. Then the mind comes and says, I'm wondering what this thing is like. <laughs> or I'm wondering when I get to it, when I get there, how I would be feeling. So the mind is projecting it on another time outside of now because it's something you need to get to so it means it's not here right now correct right well that thing is here and it's never any in any other time it's always here so in the absence of the mind and questioning what it questions is that okay so once you start to recognize it and my my mission my work is simply to help you recognize that place which is already here within yourself and the more you start to notice it bringing your attention to it the more you realize that big chunks of the day you're you're swimming in it and it takes over it starts to takes over your life so what happens is the more you notice it the more you become quiet and you're hanging out in this place it's very very simple very very simple because again the mind is expecting a big bang the, the mind is projecting on what we're talking about as an extraordinary event that we've heard or maybe you have experienced, but the mind is projecting that this thing is super amazing and big and it's outside of right now. So its job is not to let you figure it out that is here so it wants to take you out now once you get away from the mind and your attentions come within and you're just hanging out in this moment you're quiet and nothing's going on <laughs>